Jay Lund was just a few years out of college and working for the consulting firm Arthur Anderson when he got placed at Anderson Windows and Doors. In 1985, after two years as a consultant, the manufacturing company offered him a full-time job and he never looked back. It just felt like a place that uh, I could not only be have, have a successful career, but also a place where I could balance my professional ambitions with, you know, our family and uh, and being there for them. And uh, you know, it's it obviously exceeded my expectations. It's been a fantastic ride. Jay became CEO in 2011, a job he retired from at the end of 2022. During his time as CEO, company sales more than doubled rising from 1.8 to more than $4 billion. And we had three main growth engines um, um, that we were focused on. And I think it's critical that you only have two or three. Renewal was uh, you know, a, a greenfield concept developed back in the 90s. It was still a nation business um, you know, back during that time. And yet we saw extraordinary potential, and one of which was a new product we had developed um, called the Anderson 100 series. It was made out of proprietary material. It focused on segments of the market that we were underpenetrated in. And the other was our premium collection of businesses, uh, which had not been as much of a focus um, in recent years and where we had made a couple of acquisitions. We had done some product development. They were all small businesses back when I started and today the three together represent well over half of the revenue of the company. But purpose beyond profits was always a priority. You know, we're a 120-plus-year-old company, and it's a company that's been an industry leader for virtually all of that time. And it's also a company that's had a profound impact on the community. And, you know, as a longtime leader of the company, um, there's a sense of responsibility that comes with that. And uh, being a good steward and not only making sure that the company continues to grow and innovate um, and do the things that are necessary for the company to continue to prosper, but that we take that success and we put it to good use and make a real and meaningful difference in the communities where uh, we all live and work. Jay credits a lot of his success and leadership expertise to St. Olaf College, where he graduated in 1981. You know, my experience at St. Olaf is um, it taught me some really important things, one of which is it taught me how to learn how to learn, um, which is not actually easy, and then to be able to apply that in a meaningful way. Jay is a member of the St. Olaf Board of Regents. He also serves as chairman of the Board of Anderson Windows and Doors. I would certainly hope Fred and Hans and, and I know the Anderson family is still a major ownership of this company. I hope they're all proud of the way we've led this company.